What's up everybody? It's Mike here from Unique Mechanics bringing you another awesome review. Today it's not a watch though. Today it's the Grand Cherokee 2016 75th anniversary. Now this is the first type of car review that I've ever done. As you guys know, my channel is primarily watches. Today we're reviewing this bad boy right here. If you guys aren't familiar with the Grand Cherokee line, uh, this is one of my favorite action cars. We had one previously. This is uh, one of my newer ones. Today I'm going to be giving you a, a pretty big overview. Uh, I actually don't even know how to stand. I actually don't know how to shoot this because this is the first time I've ever shooting a car. So today we're going to be talking about the exterior. We're going to be talking about some of the specs that this car has. We're going to be looking at the interior. We're going to be talking about comfort. We're going to be talking about speed. We're going to be talking about options. We're going to be talking about some of the things that are strictly limited to the 75th anniversary Grand Cherokee right from Jeep. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so let's get into the car. As you guys can see, uh, it's all black. Uh, it has 18 inch alloy wheels on it. These wheels are strictly for the 75th anniversary. As you can see, they actually are, they're gunmetal. I, I would say they're gunmetal, but they have an offset of gunmetal color because usually gunmetal is a lot darker than that. This trim and everything outside of this car is particularly to the 75th anniversary. As you guys could see here, hopefully this comes in real sharp for you guys, the Grand Cherokee and as you see below there, it is an emblem. And that little emblem, let me actually get a little closer. That's representing the initial Jeep of how it looked when it was first created for the army around 1941, maybe even earlier. So it's been 75 years since Jeep was going uh, in the US and uh, actually it was before it became Jeep, J-E-E-P, it was GP for uh, general something, but uh, it, not general in the army, but basically like a general utility vehicle for the army. And in uh, 1941, it was more commercialized and they started creating uh, products for the public, in which case they went with J-E-E-P. Let me give you guys a nice uh, straight side angle here. As you can see, it's really beautiful. I love the uh, Grand Cherokees. Uh, this is my second Grand Cherokee, the earlier one that I had. I uh, let go of that one, got this one. I was uh, really happy the fact that they actually came out with the 75th anniversary right at the time that I needed a new car. The hood is beautiful. It's got that really nice indent right in the front. Also, this mesh grille with the accent, it's strictly for this color right here, strictly for the 75th anniversary. As you can see right in the front, we have two tow hooks, which is cool. Got some fog lamps. The one thing that I am upset on this car, uh, with the way that I went about it, it does not have the LED daytime running lights. Those on this car would look beautiful. Maybe at some point in time, I will go ahead and uh, get it modified for myself. This car looks so sporty and so nice. Um, I mean, it, 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 in black with those rims, it really gives me that SRT look. Obviously, this is far from an SRT8, but hopefully one day. I love a number of things about this car. Before we go in the inside, let's just go ahead and uh, check out this little cool key fob. All right. On here, I have the, um, the open close. Uh, also, I have the uh, the trunk to be open, and I could actually start the car right from the um, the key fob. So let me actually open up the trunk. That's one of those great options. You're coming out with the groceries. Get that right up for you. So inside, it's got a nice, really nice room. Um, I think the uh, the limiteds. They actually have sliders right here. So you actually, sometimes I guess when you put stuff down, it could, uh, you know, kind of get stuck, but I don't see why you would really need those sliders. It's got this little uh, cover right here. Kind of just cover that up. Also right here on the side, this is how you close the trunk. So all you do is close that there and it will close that right up for you guys. All right. So uh, what I want to do is actually want to give you guys a front shot of the doors open. This is a fully uh, fully keyless car. So actually, it's, uh, even though you have the keys uh, in your car, all you need to do is, uh, is have them in your pocket. All the doors have this little uh, kind of a little, little button here and everything opens right up, right up for you. 
Let's take a look what this thing looks like from the front. Awesome. Now I'm going from a previous Grand Cherokee, so I kind of have an idea of how my previous Grand Cherokee drove, okay? Um, I want to just say that I'm really, really happy with the way that this one drives. We'll go into the interior, take a look at the dash, how it looks from the back. This one came with the uh, 8.1 inch touchscreen Uconnect screen with all the access inside. It's absolutely beautiful. Also guys, during the video, if you guys have any questions for me on uh, what I think about the car or any questions regarding the car, please feel free to comment down below. There you guys go. That's the uh, exterior of the vehicle. Let's go ahead right into the interior. Maybe even take it for a test drive. Show you guys how this uh, V6 3.7 liter engine roars. It's really nice and tiptronic. As well as in sport mode, it has quite a few modes. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me just actually show you one little bit of the backside here. It's fantastic car looks beautiful from the exterior let's go ahead and go in all right should we come on inside nice little auto start for you guys also an interesting function is that you actually cannot get inside the car if you don't have the key fob out if it's in your pocket it's a little harder to do all right so I don't have leather in this car, okay, but it came with really nice stitching. I chose this pattern because I'm, um, you know, whatever I do, uh, just overall, um, I, I like this fabric. Uh, also, on the lot, they just didn't have one with leather. Let's take a look at the uh, interior trim. It's a really nice, like, a yellowy orange on the inside, really representing uh, Jeep's different uh, color patterns that they really have. Let's go ahead and close the car here. See what we got. All right, so you have to actually push that button one more time to get going. Really nice uh, eight inch screen right there. Let's go ahead and quiet that off. So the uh, interior is really nice. He's got this uh, nice little wood paneling right here. Overall, it's really comfortable. Nice Jeep mats. It's got one single sunroof, which is awesome. Um, as you can see right here for the rear view mirror, we have the 911 as well as the assist. These both come with the uh, Uconnect assistance. One of the biggest things that I like while driving, just so you, you know, you guys know, some of you guys that watch the videos, I always talk about that I love how a strap feels on my wrist. That's like 70% of the watch. Obviously watches are beautiful, but the strap, how it feels is all about how the watch is gonna feel on your wrist. Now, when I'm driving, a steering wheel is literally everything. On the Grand Cherokee, I noticed they really make a really nice, thick feeling steering wheel that gives you everything from luxury to grip to overall, just, it, it's awesome. I mean, uh, it's got really nice stitching all throughout. It's really thick. This car actually came with uh, heat for the steering wheel as well as, two, uh, as well as the heated seats. So that's awesome. Um, Let's take a look here. Let's take a look at the media center. So, I mean, on the other Grand Cherokee, this this little system was terrible. Overall, the screen was little, it wasn't touch screen. On this, we have everything from heat controls, we have radio, we have FM, XM, we have, um, what else do we have? We have media, so basically, you know, your iPhone could simply just get connected right to the uh, Uconnect right into this um, system. You don't have to have wires to set set up, and uh, it's awesome. You can uh, you can click on or off for the for the screen, which I like that if you're driving at night. One of the biggest uh, things that I've that I've noticed for the Grand Cherokee is the shifter. If you guys have Grand Cherokees and it's anything on a year below 2016 you remember or you actually have it's kind of a shifter that goes this way and also you're you know you kind of you have to throw the shifter into gear this car is extremely smooth and the shifter is out of control smooth 
I mean, I can't even tell you the difference that I'm feeling when I am uh, using that shifter. But besides the shifter, let's go ahead and just take a look at the back seat. Uh, both seats go forward. They go actually a little backward as well. Got some uh, lights in the back. Overall, I love how this car drives. I love throwing it into sports mode. It comes with the... Um, it has this... Um, like when you're basically when you're when you start off driving it is uh, this shuts off the engine I forgot what it's called but it shuts off the engine and uh, you know at every light I believe it's uh, something about like 10% of gas savings which is great but overall when I'm driving and the car shuts off I'm just not super happy about it, it actually frustrates me a little bit so I actually go ahead and turn that off the light turns on so now when we when we come to a stop the car will not stop eco is a great little thing I think it's obviously fuel efficiency uh, but the sports button right here I'll tell you when you're throwing this car when you put that button uh, on you could really feel it right now the steering wheel is pretty loose as soon as the uh, sports mode goes on the steering wheel gets tougher, it gets stiffer, it gets into sports mode. You can really feel it in just overall, you can really feel how much faster the car's going because it, it just transforms itself. So I really like everything about this car. I think it's great. Um, if you guys have anything to say about this car, please make sure you leave a comment. I, I have no idea what to really say yet. I don't, you know, I, I, I'm not a type of person that prepares tons of different specs. I just know this is a V6 3.7 liter. It's got a great screen. It's got this type of interior. It's got paddle shifters for uh, whenever you're in, um, whenever you're in Tiptronic mode. So those are little things that I really appreciate about this car. It's a nice sports utility vehicle. It's overall really nice from the exterior to the interior. It's fast and it's beautiful. Let's go ahead and go for a test drive on the road. All right, guys, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel about this car on a uh, test drive. We're gonna give it some speed. We're gonna tell, talk about comfort. Overall, this car is really comfortable. Uh, everything from the steering wheel, as I mentioned to you guys, as well as the, uh, the shifter. But uh, man, does this have power. I'm not gonna go into uh, anything regarding the paddle shifters in Tiptronic mode, but uh, let's actually just slow it down just a little bit and I'm gonna really give it some power. Let's see if we can hear it. Actually, I'm gonna, before I put it in sport mode, I'm gonna do it without sport mode. So let's go ahead and go in. It's pretty good. Sounds good, feels great. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the specs are on 0 to 60 on this car, but it's definitely fast. And I know for a fact that in sports mode, it's even faster. Let's wait till this car actually uh, moves out of the way, and we'll go ahead and go into sports mode real quick. Let me just turn it on, and here we go. sports mode this car is super super fast besides being extremely comfortable the sports mode quality I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of I don't even know the right words to choose if you guys down below can you comment let me know what are the right words to actually choose when you're driving an awesome car and it's super fast super just super quiet I mean this car you don't expect it to be a sports utility vehicle that gives you this type of power in sports mode I mean I've, I've beaten a number of cars in this car already from the red light and uh, I, I couldn't believe it so uh, definitely sports mode gets a uh, an A plus and uh, overall speed and comfort and I, I feel like durability I'm using key terms that I use that I use for watches but um, I really don't even know how to describe it but overall I really like it a lot um, so I mean you guys saw the interior, you guys saw the exterior, we talked about some of the specs. I kind of took you guys on a, uh, a, a, a quick demo of, of, of speed modes, if it's regular mode or it's sports mode. Hopefully you guys like this video. I have a couple of more cars that are, I have access to. There's going to be a Porsche, possibility of a Ferrari, uh, a couple other cars that I have in mind, maybe a Mercedes. 
but I'm going to try to uh, um, integrate some car videos into my channel because I have 500 plus on the 600 videos of just watches so I think it's time to really uh, you know diversify and uh, tr truly uh, stick to what unique mechanics is all about if you guys don't understand the word unique mechanics it's all about the uniqueness of anything that's mechanical it could be the inside of a watch or it could be the fact that the engine runs from mechanical parts so it's everything uh, that is under that type of uh, that keyword theoretically so again hey thank you guys for watching make sure you comment down below Hopefully I gained some uh, new subscribers from this. A lot of guys that are not into watches or looking for watches on YouTube are now, uh, you know, guys that look for cars on YouTube are now coming across my channel. So make sure you give me the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below and make sure you comment. I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks so much.